Right, uh, looks like we're up against a roar one of the Roaring Moon uh, decks. It's pretty cool. Haven't seen that in a while. I'll bring out a Comfy. Run with a Comfy. I will then Flower Select. Put one Grass Energy in my hand. Uh, retreat the Comfy. Bring in my second Comfy. See what I can draw for this. Oh, I don't want to get rid of two Diago V-Stars. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it a run one Mirage Gates. Gates Gate, one Mirage Gate. And then I just kind of ended there. I'll keep the Tempo of Sinnoh because I know they like to play Artisan. So I'll keep the Tempo of Sinnoh. Uh, I'll keep, yeah, so I'll keep the Tempo of Sinnoh uh, just in case for any anything. Should I? Would it have been better to get Greninja out here? I don't think it would have been better to get Greninja, but it's fine. But yeah, so Cam I think it was Cameron. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be 110, so I can I can't really one shot any most of the uh, cards, the basic Pokemon, because they they were like 140, 230. So I don't know if Cramorant is very useful in this matchup. Unfortunately, there's there's the Roaring Moon, which I will need to start Requiem and or Lost Zone at some point very quickly, very soon. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There's the trekking shoes. Let's see. They've got how many energies have they? I've been keeping track. Three energies in in in. Okay, they've got three energies down, which they can Sada and Dark Patch and put one down for the Roaring Moon to accelerate in. Uh, but they tend to pass. No energies left for them to start setting up with. All right, I'll drop one more Psychic Energy because I will need to retreat. I will Flower Select. There's the Ultra Ball, which I can use. Uh, I will then retreat, bring in my second comfy, start drawing, get the chorus. Chorus is really good here. Uh, I get the chorus going. There's the one. I'll take one, and I I don't want want to put. An, I've got one grass energy. Yes, I've got one grass energy. I don't want to get rid of too many grass energies, so I'll keep that one. Nest ball. I don't really need. Right. I could take the nest ball. I could Nespo bring out Greninja and then draw for a bit more. Should we do that? Okay, let's do that then. I will Nespo. Because I want to bring out Cram. Because I'll have four. So it's free damage, right? It's six. I'll have free damage. I will have free damage. That's the thing. So I could Cram. I just said how Cram isn't that great and Cram will die next turn. But again, it's free damage. But does the free damage really matter? How many have I got? I've got six. I could also Abyss Seek um, too, but then I might die to the moon next turn. I don't want to do that. That's the only thing. So then do I bring in... Or do I just set up two V-Stars? I think I just set up two. I think I just set up two. I think setting up two might be one. And then I can Abyss Seeking one. Oh... Okay, yeah, I can Abyss Seek 1. And yeah, okay. I'll lay down the 2 Giratina V-Stars and hope they don't die. That's the game plan. So there's a Sada setting up the moon. Does my com If my Comfy dies here, what do I look for here? Because I don't have a Counter Catcher. I don't have many things needed to set up. Let's see what they decide to do. So this, so there's the yeah. So there's a dark patch setting up the moon. So it's been great to have like a. If I can get a find a boss's orders, that would be great. There's the so now they're one prize card ahead. Because they can frenzied gouging and then take me out, and then they'll you know they'll be super ahead in the price trade. I say super ahead, but they'll be a little they'll be they will be uh more ahead than usual. I'll take the artisan. Drop the artisan. Find myself a Could I get a Sableye actually? Seven. Ah uh, no, I need three more in there. Uh, I need three more in there. 
Because if I bring in Giratina, Giratina will die. A frenzied gouging, but then I could kill her Sableye afterwards. I could bring in the V-Star. Hmm. I think I just get comfy. I think I just want to comfy here. I think I just want to comfy. I just in case they play a boss, I should probably evolve. So I will then ultra ball away one, one. Find myself my V star. So now I've got two just in case they turn. Just in case they can. Just thinking they roaring moon and then kill. But now they can frenzy gouging one of them. They can't frenzy gouging both of them. That's at least my plan. I can then Sableye. I've got eight. I won't drop the Sableye just yet. I can then retreat between Mirage Gate. I also need to find a Super Rod soon. I can drop one one. I think I need to Super Rod first. I'll end that there. Okay, so interesting, 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 interesting. Not quite sure this is if this is going well, this is going bad. If I'm being completely honest. I want to see if I can get their Roaring Moon into the active. Oh, see, this is it. That, yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This is this is what I was scared of. See, now they get the Roaring Moon. But now I can I can uh, Star Requiem, right? I can just Star Requiem. There's the Sardis, so the Sardis, so they're setting up the other Roaring Moon now. Okay, so they're three prize cards ahead, and they have ten cards in hand. So this is matching my draw power, which seems to be quite a lot. I will need a super. I need a super rod soon. I've got three, four energies in there. Five energies soon. There's the Roaring Moon. So the frenzied gouging comes out here. Takes the two. So now they've also got two backup attackers, essentially. Frenzied Gouging, my Giratina V died. This is what I was scared of, but then at the same time, he would have used Calamity Storm. But either way, Giratina would have died, right? I would have had I would have one V-Star, plus I'm also one V-Star down because what, I got one in here. So I've only got one V-Star left. So this Giratina has to put in work, is essentially is all I'm saying. Uh, if I can find me a Super Rod, I find a Switch. Uh, I 8, 9, and I can kill with Sableye. I'm down for that play. Find myself a chorus. Uh, then I can switch into another comfy. Cram. I think I'll take another chorus instead. So now that's 10. Drop the Sableye. Play the chorus. Find another Mirage Gate. A Roxanne is good. And I'll take the Greninja. I'll drop the energy, switch into Sableye. That's the only issue because I've got five energy in here and I know I need to set up my deck a little bit so I can find a few more things. All right, and then Sableye. Uh, so I need 90, so it's 240, 270, 280, 90. And then 20 on this one and this one. Take the two prize cards, a shop it and a switch. I need a super rod. I need a super rod real quick. I need a super rod really badly. I got three, four. That's all my energies. That's all, no, I got five psychic energies. Yeah, so that's all my psychic energies. I can't start Requiem, which is bad, which is really bad. Which is really, really bad. I also need to find a counter catcher or a boss's orders. And I don't think I've used up a boss's orders yet. So I may have to just rock sand this hand. And see what we see what we get. There's a done the done there's a dunce boss. 
Yeah, they they they've got another Roaring Moon set up ready to go. So this price is because if they knock out my Sableye, it'll be four two, and then he has to just KO my Garatina V with his Roaring Moon, which shouldn't be the hardest thing to do. So this means so is this game over? Is what I'm trying to is all I guess what I'm trying to say. Is this game over? I need a Super Rod really badly. A Giratina. Don't really want to drop that down. Do I... Okay, do I go ninja and try to look for a Super Rod? Unless I prize both my Super Rods. No, not yet. There's not a Super Rod. Uh, did I prize both my Super Rods? I'll take this, this. And this. Ain't no way I prized both my super rods, right? Yes, there it is. Okay, so there's the one. And an the counter catch, I think I I think I must have prized it. But I can't find out because I have uh uh I'll need this. Right? Yes. And then um, I can Mirage Gate. I can drop this down. Mirage Gate. The Psychic. Make sure the guy's Psychic goes in the Psychic. That goes into that. And then Prime Catcher. This in. This comes in. Uh, drop the Temple of Sinnoh so they can't do any more of their shenanigans. Star Requiem. Ooh. Okay, okay, so we're somewhat safe. We're somewhat safe. If they don't manage to get another bosses up, we're good. <laughs> we're good. So how many energy? So my neck my last card should be a Giratina V Star. Right? Which means super one of my super which means my super is prized, which means I can't go for the next KO okay, uh, knockout. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> um <laughs> That's bad. How did I end up sending free free jet energies? Oh, okay, so this is bad. I think I lost. Oh no, I sent too many energies to the to the lost zone and now I've lost. So yeah. Uh so my last prize card should be Super Rod and Counter Catcher, right? Because this is a um Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, is it? <laughs> this is a bit unfortunate. How do I want to play this? How do I want to stall? I can't really stall. I think I've just lost. I think I've just lost. I think I've just lost. He's setting up his other moon. Because I can't boss his orders and, and you know... Oh, I can't even kill it 280. 280 doesn't even kill. Oh, well, he, he, he kills me anyway. So he gets the frenzied gouging. He managed to set up. Managed to set up perfectly. Okay, well, you know. It was unfortunate. My super was all the way at the bottom. And I prized one. Yeah, that's game. That's a bit unfortunate. I think I would have lost regardless. Yeah, that's okay. GG. Okay, it looks like we're up against a Lugia. A Lugia deck. A good old Lugia and... Uh, Chinchino deck. From here, I'll grab two confis. Uh, get flower selecting. Ooh, Temple of Sinnoh is really good here. I'd hate to lose the chorus, but Temple of Sinnoh is really good here. I hate to lose the chorus. I, I really do. I don't want to lose chorus, but it kind of, yeah, it kind of, it kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I'll be honest. Uh, super rod. I think I'm gonna have to take the super rod here. Unfortunately, I already got one in hand, and then uh, I will then poke gear. Nice, find another chorus. Uh, and then do I play the temple of Sinnoh? I know they play artisan, or do they? I think they do. But I'm gonna temple of Sinnoh anyway, just in case they manage to pull out a jet energy off the off the bat or anything. So temple of Sinnoh will kind of negate that. It kind of was fortunate to use a chorus for it and I have a V-Star, which is two important cards I would have liked to have. But hopefully I still have one more. They get a Tails. I think off of that they get... I don't know what they usually pull off Tails. I think Tails is the... Uh, basic. So I guess they can pull out either another Lugia or a Minchino. Aluminium. Okay. 
I wonder what the pull of aluminium. There's a Snorlax. Because I have a cram. A cram doesn't really do much in this situation right now. There's the mist energy, but Temple of Sinnoh, I think, you know. You know, helps a lot. So yeah. There's the Master Ball, they find themselves an Ar a Lugia V-Star, I'd argue. Or oh, is it Archeops? Okay, find themselves an Archeops. Alright, so it means I have to kill this Lugia V-Star ASAP. <laughs> well, this Lugia V, I should say. This Lugia V ASAP. What are they gonna, uh, what are gonna pull off of this? Versus Research. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna assume they have both the Archeops in hand then, right? If they're gonna get rid of the... Get rid of the... Get rid of it this early. Because I can... The loss... Oh, no. So they get rid of my Temple of Sinnoh. They get rid of... That's a bit unfortunate. Now they're back online. So, yeah, so they had a the double Archeops. Damn, this game is going super well for them. All they need now is the V-Star, which they're going to pull out right now. Because I can predict the future. Because I can predict the future. Okay, no, man. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. We're good for now. False alarm. False alarm. They draw two more. Probably trying to look for them in Chino and Chinchino. Uh, Mirage Gate. Okay, so now we are online, kind of, almost online. What do I need from here? Uh, well, they don't. Nothing else really frightens me. I think let's put to find, and I'll take the bonnet. I'll take the bonnet. Item cards. What item cards do they really play? Probably, you know, getting rid of any item cards would be great. Uh, da -da 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 yes. So I want my Giratina V going. I, I think that's all. For now, Mirage Gate. I've got two Mirage Gates in hand now. I've got one energy, which is fine. I'll then switch into this comfy. Flower selecting. Find the jet energy. This is good. This is good. There's seven in here. Mirage Gate is now online. I will drop this. Drop this. Drop this, drop this, uh, do this, one, two, so I got one more grass energy, drop these two down, and hope uh, Giratina doesn't die this game, doesn't die this early, is 110, so what are the odds Giratina dies here, let's see, what are the odds Giratina dies here, what are the odds? There's the Minchino. So he would need a Lugia V-Star with a boss to kill my Giratina. There's the Iono. Oh, Giratina leaving here isn't so great, but the chance of him pulling a V-Star might be really high. Oh, I don't find another V-Star, which is bad. Well, there's the V-Star. Now he just needs a boss, right? Please don't have a boss. Well, he played Iono. Summoning star, he brings out the two the two Lugias. Like Lugias who Archeops. Uh da, 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 da. I can Okay, I can get a kill with Cramorant. Right? I can get a kill with Cram. I think that'd be the great I, I can I can the Primal Turbo, he's setting up, which is gonna he's gonna play his turn out like twelve years. I say that as you know. So what can happen is he's going to kill my cram here. Very sad. This does 160. 160 plus 110 is 270. Not enough. That's a bit unfortunate. That is a bit unfortunate. Uh, he finds tails, which means no uh, chinchino for him. Which is good for us. Good news for us. Uh, what have I got? I got seven in here. Seven, eight, nine... So there's the 200 Tempest Dive. So he's one ahead now. One ahead, which is you know, not so great. All right, so there's the Shop It. A Buddy Buddy Puffin find. Oh, one more Shop It, I guess. I don't need a Mana Feed this game. Uh, thin Deck, do this. Bring this out. How many have I got? I got seven, eight, and then... Let's see how this would go. No, I kind of need that. Uh, I have Mirage Gate, to be fair. Okay, so let's see this. So this one, can I get three down? And then I need to get 100, like 120. 120 will KO this. 
Uh, you know what? Let's risk it. I think I have an idea in mind, right? I think I have an idea in mind, but let's see if we can get the... Probably take the Greninja off of this. Uh, do this. Oh, wait. I can't. I won't get there. I won't get there. Chorus. That's my last grass energy, right? So that's one, two... Three, I think one is prized. I'll take the chorus. Chorus gets me there as well. One Mirage Gate, one Super Rod. I mean, you know what happened last time? I prized way too many energies. But losing a Psychic feels bad. Uh, Mirage Gate, one Psychic. Onto you. Prime Catcher, lock in the Snorlax. Oh, it's, uh, what do you mean lock in the Snorlax? Snorlax is going to kill me. Uh, I say lock in Snorlax. I'm stupid. Snorlax kills me because they have Archeops. Uh, that's 170, so that doesn't die. Alright, so let's move some around. So 40, 60. Uh, let's see. Prime is dead. I need to put it in range of nothing, really, because Archeops. Because now my Giratina pretty much kills everything on the board. Uh, Because he's going to do 180 and just kill. Yeah, I don't really think this through that well. Uh, Because 180 kills me here, sadly. I can just put it on anything, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't really matter where I put it on, right? There's the Mancino. Take one prize card. Oh, Roxanne. Okay. So Sableye dies. I was like, oh, I can just... Uh, this isn't any... Oh, yeah, okay. So then I could have put a minion in there. And made it harder. But then obviously... Uh, yeah, I guess he, I guess he kind of has to waste a couple of energies. But, you know, I don't think he matters. He's used three, four. But they always run like a million energies anyway. So I don't think he's too fast. And then once this dies, I can Nest Ball... Uh, I also haven't even got a Giratina V yet. That's also another issue that we are facing. So. Yeah, one, two. And yeah, so this now does 160 and he kills my... He kills me here. But then I also need to get the V-Star because if I don't get the V-Star, Lugia kills me here. See what I'm saying? It's a bit of a conundrum. It's a bit of a conundrum. So right now, I would say he's definitely got the upper hand on me. Because he, he can set up his, he can set up really quickly. So he's setting up. There's the Mancino. So I mean, even though this goes to sleep now, though, right? There's the Capturing Aroma. Please get Tails again. You think it's heads, it's bad. Okay, not so good. Not so good. Oh, he brings the Arceus. He doesn't even bring in the Chinchino. Okay, interesting. Thumping Snow, 160. Yeah, he goes sleep, night, night. Sleep tight. Okay. <laughs> so, this is looking a bit ropey. This is looking a little bit ropey, right? Because if... Look, let this has 220, so it kills me, right? That's the bad part. It kills me. Right, we can all agree on that. It kills me. It takes two prize cards. Not so good. No bueno, no bueno. No bueno, indeed. But losing, I've, I've, wait, how many, how many Giratinas have I got in there? No Giratinas. One Giratina. I lose another Giratina. Is it worth it? But then they can't play item cards. What item cards would they even play? Would the, yeah, I think I just have to take the V-Star here. I then evolve. Uh, how many have I got? I've got one in there. I got three. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, because the two off the thing and then none of that. Okay, so let's see what Mirage Gate gives me. That's my last grass energy. Uh, attach this to you. Since this is my last grass energy, you must take it. How many super rods have I used? How many super rods have I used? One. Okay, so hopefully I have another super rod. This comes back. This comes back. This comes out. Oh no! Wait. Oh. Fudge. 
I don't want to lost impact this. Lost impact thing. This feels so bad. Oh my goodness. I am not playing. <laughs> I feel like I am playing this terribly. I have to get rid of this one and this one. No, I feel like I'm playing this awfully. Because now I have to take two prize cards, which is still super, super bad. I don't have uh, a single. I've only got two. Oh, no. And then I've got the Minchino. This rolls me now. Oh, no. This rolls me now. This rolls me now. I think this is it. I'm not having great luck with this deck. I'm not having, <laughs> I'm not playing this really, really well. I would play this off, like off recording. And I was, I was honestly doing really, really well with it. I was like, okay, this is, this is going super well. I'm, I'm kind of owning it, you know? And he only needs like five, right? 350, even 300. Wait, no, wait, seven, 14, 21, 28. He needs four. So he's basically ready, right? He needs four to do 300 or 280. And now, you know, my V-Star is now dead. Right, so he's got no more energies. That's what we know, but what we, you know, but we also don't have any energies in our deck, and that's the bad part about this because I don't know how many more mirage mar mar gates I have. Uh, Comfy, would you like to be honest? How many more mirage gates? I've used three mirage gates, right? I've used three mirage gates, so I don't know how how well this is gonna go. Uh, chorus. I think I kind of just have to keep this. Yeah, I don't want no getting rid of course is bad. I have to do this. Bring in this. A boss. Or a jet. I think a boss and I boss in you know one of the archives because they couldn't find any more. Uh, okay, I boss in an Archeops for now. And then Super Rod. One, two, one. Back. I then drop this. I hold on to this. Uh, I think I have piloted this very incorrectly i think i have played this matchup terribly <laughs> um yeah i don't know i'm not i'm not so great with this deck this was like the lost one always feel, felt a bit overwhelming and i guess it <laughs> kind of is i enjoy playing roaring moon last 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 uh, rotation right last before this pre-rotation i really enjoyed roaring moon if you guys know any any decks which are similar to Roaring Moon, can you if you drop it down in the comments below, that would be that'd be really great. I would like to play more, more Roaring Moon. I miss Roaring Moon. <laughs> uh, I do miss more. <laughs> I miss Roaring Moon. Um, that would be great. Mirage Gate, okay. I don't have a V Star. I don't have a lost Requiem. I mean, even if I get rid of this, right? He, his Chinchino kills me. So. I think that even might be my last energy. Or, yeah, I, so I don't know if I have any more energies in my deck regardless. I don't think I do. <laughs> uh, I think I evolve. Why am I playing this so scared? Like, I don't really know what to do. But I don't find any more energies in there. Yeah, I don't have any more. I always run out of energies. Oh, I always run out of energies. I run out of energies. Okay, let's see. Okay, I lose. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's giving me a thumbs up. Look, he, he I don't like this guy. Uh, yeah, I, I ran out of energies. I ran out of energies. Oh, boy. Okay, I have to concede here. There's no more. I have no energies. Nothing I can do. Yeah, I, I'm terrible at this. Uh, if you guys have any tips on how to play Lost Zone, please drop a like and subscribe. Well, if you know any, if you have any tips, drop some in the comments below. I'd be really appreciative. I, I'm terrible at piloting this deck. I kind of want to, I want to get better at this deck though. I do want to get better. All right. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe and peace.